Hello everyone. I hope everyone is having a lovely weekend. Thank you so much for joining me on today's video. Today I will be cash stuffing this week's paycheck, which is $527.76. If you are new, welcome. My name is Alex. I'm a single mom to one beautiful daughter named Savannah. She is 11 years old and I'm 31 years old and we live in the state of Wisconsin. I'm currently saving up for a house and so far I've saved $19,862 so far for a down payment on a house. I'm an independent contractor. I shop and deliver groceries. So if you're a gig worker, you could probably relate to my budget. Some weeks I can make as low as $500 and other weeks I can make close to a thousand, if not more than a thousand dollars per week. So that is why I love using the cash envelope system because it helps me budget out my paycheck and helps me stay on track. And honestly, this method has helped me save the most amount of money so far. So yeah, let's jump right into it. I am going to start off with my bills right away, just to get them out of the way. I pay $198 per week for rent. Again, I get paid weekly, so I figure out what my bills are weekly. All right, $198. And I do live in low income housing. Storage is $19 per week. Oh my. I'm just dropping money all over the place. $19 for storage. 18 for electric. I had a little bit of leftover money. Um, I'll quickly count that out. From the, uh, last month's electric, I had $14 left over. But I always like to just stack that because I feel like in the summertime, sometimes my electric bill is a little bit unpredictable. So I'm going to just leave that in there. Internet will be getting $15. And my phone bill for my daughter and I, $10. Car insurance did go up. It's not $19 anymore. It is currently $25. dollars So I will need to shop around and go with a different company. Um... <clears throat> If uh, you're in your younger years, um, it's a really good idea to shop around for different car insurance. Um, make sure, obviously, like, um, it's, like, the same amount of coverage. Um, but if you shop around every six months, um, typically you can save money because if you stay with a company for longer than six months, they always up the price on you. So it's good to shop around and switch around. But yeah, just make sure that the coverage is the same. $2 for Walmart Plus. $3 for Spotify. And $2 for TV streaming. And $6 for a gym membership. That is everything to cover all of my bills. I am going to stuff my everyday wallet. I have this guy on me every single day. I am going to give myself $20 for personal spending. I have $1 left over. I'm going to keep that in here. So now I have $21. My daughter's envelope will not be getting anything. This is anything for her besides clothing that she might need. She has $4 left in here. 
I was able to keep my promise and get her a video game. I luckily had a gift card, so I didn't really need to use that much money. Um, if you missed my last couple of videos, um, my daughter recently went on an upside down ride at Six Flags, so I bribed her with a video game. <laughs> Um, household is at zero and I won't be adding anything in there. Beauty does have some money left over, still at 17 and I won't be adding anything into here. Clothing for me is at zero, but I will not be adding anything into there. Uh, Savannah, we did do some shopping and she has one, two, three, four, five, six dollars left over, so... I am going to have to work on maybe building this up. She really doesn't need anything else, but I think I might want to build up her clothing to 100 and maybe my clothing up to 100 just to, you know, if we need anything, then we don't have to really save up for it. Family fun is at zero and we will not be adding anything in this week unfortunately so we will have to use our personal money that we get every single week if we want to go and do something fun or if we want to go out to eat this week and that is everything for this binder next up i'm going to fill up vacation I'm going to put $20 into vacation like every single week. Vacation is up to 100, 200, 300, 400, 420, 40, 50, 60, 460 in vacation. This is my secondary wallet. I keep this guy at home because there's way too much money in here to just kind of have on me. Gas, I do have $3 left over and I will be adding in uh, $40 this week for gas. So now it is up to $43. Vehicles will be getting its usual $28. And I do have some exciting news. Um, so I was going to need to save up a thousand dollars for some repairs on my vehicle, but luckily my uncle Tom, thank goodness, he actually offered to do the work. Um, <clears throat> he said that if it was going to be an easy fix, he could do it. And he did some research and he can definitely do it himself. So he ordered all the parts and I had to pay him back for the parts, which is about, he said $300. So I am only gonna have to pay $300 to get all that work done instead of a thousand. And then I'm going to give him a hundred dollars, you know, just for his time and just like as a little thank you. Cause I know he's family and I know family should help each other out. But, um, you know, since I'm saving money, by him helping me, like, I can at least give him, you know, some money, you know, to, like, just as a thank you. So, yeah, I went to the bank and I took out $400 already this morning to give to my Uncle Tom. So, now I am just going to take this placeholder out and put it away. So now vehicles is actually at 100, 200, 300, 350, 60, 70, 80, 90, 400, 410, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23. So 423 dollars in vehicles. And then the next thing I need to do is just get tires. So um, yeah. It's looking pretty good. <clears throat> I really thought that this would be empty, so my Uncle Tom, awesome. I can actually have this a little bit full now, so thank you. Thank you, Uncle Tom. Time off and bad work week. I will be adding in $20 this week. 
So now it is at 100, 200, 300, 400, 450, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 499 dollars. Electronics. I am only able to add in $12 this week, unfortunately, but that is all I could do. But electronics is now up to 100, 200, 300, 400, 410, 20, 21, 22. 422 for electronics. I'm saving up for a computer, um, well, a backup computer for my daughter because she has my old computer. And then I'm also saving up for if my phone ends up not working because I did drop it in the toilet. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I was washing my face and I had my phone on the sink and it, my cleanser hit my phone and yeah, it went in the toilet, unfortunately. So luckily, I mean, it's okay, but I have noticed some issues. So I think I might have to replace my phone, unfortunately. Dental and medical will not be getting anything, but it is up to 150, 60, 70, 75, 76, 77, $177. Birthday is at zero, it won't be getting anything. Gifts is at zero, won't be getting anything. Holidays still only has 10, won't be getting anything. Christmas is at 150, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 96, 97. Christmas is at $197 and unfortunately will not be getting anything. I do really need to start filling this up though because I feel like Christmas is going to be around the corner. Um, luckily this month there are five Fridays in this month so I will have an extra paycheck where I don't have to account for bills so I will have a lot of extra money at the end of the month so I need to remember to probably definitely add some money into Christmas. Back to school is still at $150. I know, <clears throat> I feel like I probably need to go uh, back to school shopping. We did a cl the clothing portion, but not school supplies yet. So we definitely need to do that. Uh, savings, so I will be adding in $79. That is 15% of this week's paycheck. $79 in the savings. And then I will be adding um, last month's child support, which is $582 that I will have to add also. All right, it'll be interesting to see what I am up to now. Sorry, I've not had caffeine this morning. I, I don't know <laughs> what I'm doing. Just trying to get this organized. Bear with me here. All right, there we go. <clears throat> so I know savings will be over $20,000, which is a big, big deal. So let's count this out. All right, so 1,000, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 19,000, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 000. All right, so that is 20,000 right there. 10, 20, 30, or er, 100, 200, 300. Oh my goodness. 
400, 420, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So that's a 500, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So twenty thousand five hundred and twenty three dollars. <throat> as odd as it may seem, I know that this is a big deal to reach over twenty thousand dollars, but in many ways, I still feel kind of discouraged just because of the fact that, like, how expensive homes are these days. Um, I don't know. It's kind of bittersweet because this is a huge, a huge step. And, but I still feel like I'm so far away. But I should really be proud of myself and not overthink it. But... I do kind of know I still have a ways to go. All right. Well, that is it for this binder. Um, I do need to give my daughter her chore money, which is $10. Let's kind of see. Oh, my. <clears throat> Let's kind of see where she's at. She has... 10, 20, 30. She has $32. So now she has 42. She has more money than I do right now for spending money. <laughs> I'm at jelly. Very jelly. All right. And then I do need to fill up this savings challenge. I did receive only $3, but you know what? $3 is $3. So... It looks like two is available to fill. So I'm going to fill up two. And then I'll just save the extra dollar for another time. All right. Well, that pretty much sums up this video, you guys. Again, I hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend and I will see you in the next video. And thank you so much for all of your support, all of your comments and all of your likes really helps out my channel grow. So if you have a moment, definitely, definitely do that. You guys, you take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.